What is, is that not how you remember the Bride of Frankenstein sounding or looking? Well, I'm actually NBC LX storyteller Chase Kane. And since it's Halloween, we wanted to have a little fun with Hollywood special effects makeup artist, Kara Zazula. Hi there. For the people watching this who have no idea who Divine is, maybe they've only heard of John Waters, who is Divine? Well, let's start with John Waters. Let's start with John Waters, because you can't really talk about Divine without, without talking about John Waters. John Waters is a, I would say, a camp director. He's done a lot of movies that I think people know about, like Hairspray, maybe the original Hairspray. Um, Divine was his biggest muse. They worked together since they were teenagers on his first films, um, and he was someone who was willing to do anything to get a shot. And Divine has that very specific look, so yes. you're going to take that Divine look, combine it with Bride and Frankenstein, and put it here? Yes, okay. yes, we're going to marry those two together. I don't think it's super far-fetched. I feel like... You know, Bride of Frankenstein has certain elements that we can like really like drama up with Divine's classic look and just make it really exciting. I think it's gonna be really fun. How how did you decide that you wanted to be a special effects makeup artist? It wasn't a conscious decision. It was more so um, a meeting of all things that I loved. Um, I love making characters. I love getting dressed up. I love all these elements that go into creating kind of like a new character for somebody. A whole new person. A whole new person. Did you start doing it on yourself? Um, I actually fell into it. Um, I started as an assistant makeup artist on set. I'm helping out with uh, hand drawing tattoos because that was my initial background. And I fell in love with the special effects aspect. I loved seeing people create custom characters. I loved the sculpting and molding process of it. I think a lot of people watch TV, movies, they see this amazing makeup and they're maybe not even conscious of it because they sort of fall into the illusion that that Hollywood creates, that we create in TV mm -hmm. and film. And that's just good makeup. I was going to say, is that is that the goal, that you want people to sort of not realize that you've, that you've put someone in makeup, that it just looks organic? Absolutely. 